All right, everyone. Here I am once again. It's Miss G, and I'm in Rome, Italy. I am standing in front of perhaps one of the most famous buildings in the world. And I'm a nerd because I've got the camera um, situated on top of a garbage can, and there are many tourists walking around me once again going, um, this woman is just a little whacked, but it's okay. It's okay. I will, I will suffer the embarrassment for you. This building represents architecture and engineering, and in particular, in your textbook on page 366, you actually have a picture of it right here. Now in the picture, you will notice in the textbook that there are no people standing around. I have no, there's just one woman. Um, this is not the case today. It's, this is in the middle of a, of a plaza. There are hundreds of tourists and of course there's some pretty rowdy teenagers close by who are I think about ready to spray some water on me um, because they're, they're playing some games around and I of course am giving them my little uh, teacher eye but it's not working too well. Let's get back to this building that I am standing in front of. This building is really um, a masterpiece and it's a miracle because number one, uh, the original construction started in about 27 BCE and it's one of the very few buildings that are just still standing today um, with very few cracks. We really can get a sense instead of looking at the rubble of ancient remains. This building is pretty much exactly as it was uh, when it was when it was built. Now it's gone through a series of um, changes as time has progressed, and there, it's my understanding, there was a fire, um, and so it's gone through a series of changes. However, what remains is this dome that we are going to take a look in just a minute and this dome um, is what has influenced so many buildings particularly our capitol building um, it has pillars in front of it and right on top of my head is a pediment um, there there isn't any carvings there aren't any carvings or anything but um, basically, what I'm standing in front of kind of looks like a Greek building. We've got the columns, we've got the pediments. However, it w if you walk around this building, you're just going to notice something very, very different. Instead of granite, it was built from bricks, thousands and thousands and thousands of bricks that were put together with cement. Now, they figured out a way to form a mixture and and really this is the, the beginning of the use of of cement it is unbelievable to think that this was built without computers without electricity in fact the columns that are behind me there are 16 of them and they're massive they actually the material came from egypt the granite came from egypt they had to move these pillars all the way here and then set them up um, all in a row so that they could hold this building together it's it's just it's just unbelievable to think about this and then I guess the other thing you have to think about is the fact that well who built this you know like everything else sometimes um, the people suffered building this and many slaves actually built this amazing building I am standing in front of the Pantheon, and in just a minute, we are gonna go inside. But if I can move this just a little bit, the camera, so that you can see behind me is actually an Egyptian obelisk. And, and this obelisk uh, was dedicated to the Egyptian god, um, I was. And it is important to understand that this building, the Pantheon, was actually built to honor all of the gods. All of the gods. Now, as you know, the Romans switched the Greek gods to their own. The only thing they did, really, was change the name of the gods. And instead of focusing on the stories of these gods, 
they focused primarily on honoring them um, and paying tribute to them. This was their religion. And so they would come here in front of this building to, to, to honor them. They would leave things behind. Um, if they were suffering from some kind of an ailment, such as a foot injury or something like that, they would leave a little trinket um, in the shape of what it was they wanted to heal and leave it right in front of these very steps. It was important to, to honor all of the gods and everyone was accepted, which is why there's an Egyptian obelisk here. Um, because it was okay if you wanted to honor that god or the numerous gods um, that this building paid tribute to as long as you paid your taxes. So we are now going to take a closer look inside of this building and I hope you enjoy.